If you're enjoying this content, I hope they'll consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Now let's get right into it. Update 13 is now officially live for Hell Let Loose, and it's a pretty good one. Kharkov is a good map that seems pretty darn balanced, which is nice, considering that sometimes some of these maps feel awfully unbalanced at times. Uh, but this one plays real nicely. Obviously, the new flamethrower has come out. N Jeeps for every faction. Uh, winter camo for everyone for free, which I think was a great idea considering now that there are multiple snow maps and it seems that there will be more coming in the future. Um, some <laughs> some helmet DLCs, which is weird to say that out loud and try to be excited about it, but that's still there if that's what you're into. Um, overall, um, just uh, also tanks. I shouldn't I shouldn't forget about that. There's there's extra tanks involved with this too. This is a good update, um, as most of them have been for this game. Um, there is something, though, that I'd forgotten about that we need to talk about. I decided to play this new update on my PS5 first as opposed to the PC. And the reason I play PC so much more uh, for this game and Insurgency in particular is because, like many games that were originally for the PC platform and then ported out to console, uh, the PC versions just run a lot better and they look a lot better uh, now if you don't have that reference it's hard to know that but it believe me when I tell you it's a night and day difference between both of these uh, both these games now, I will say hell it loose transfer is the best at least visually um, between those two games and it looks pretty darn good on ps5 it's not like it doesn't look bad it's just a jarring change when you go from pc over to the console but that's not what we're here to talk about what we're here to talk about is an issue that i'd forgotten about on the console uh, that i just assumed probably would have been fixed by now server integrity in this game especially on console is not in a good place at all now when I first jumped on, I tried to do what I normally would do when given the opportunity to select a region in a game. I select a region that either I'm in or that I'm close to. So I started with uh, U.S. East. Uh, U.S. Central was an option as well, which is really where I'm at. I didn't even realize Central was an option. I think that might be new since the last time I, I played this on console. Tried all of them. Uh, got matchmaking errors every time. In fact, every time I tried to select a region at all, it, whether it was one from the United States, Europe, Australia, South America, it didn't matter. They all failed to matchmake when I selected one specifically. Now, once I switched to any, it found a game, no problem. But there's a there's an issue there, obviously. Something doesn't work as far as being able to select your own region. Now, while that is annoying, it's not ultimately a huge problem. Unless, of course, you realize that your health and server health, for that matter, is not very good. And the reality is, is that this is what's happening most of the time. It's very, very rare to find any game where all of the players in the lobby have a ping any lower than 80 or 90. And in fact, most of the time, it's split between the high 80s and 90s and into the upper hundreds. And that isn't a good thing. This creates other issues. And one of them is something that I've talked about briefly on this channel before, and a lot of other people have mentioned in, in passing in a lot of other places, but we're going to have to bring it up again here, and it's rubber banding. And things like this make it impossible to effectively play the game correctly because you can't even aim at this person. It's obviously going to be pretty hard to aim and shoot a weapon at an enemy that is in two different places at the same time, and this is where we're having the biggest issue on consoles. Now, don't, let's be clear, this has been a problem at some point on PC in the past. The rubber banding, not as much, but high pings are still um, somewhat of an issue. They're not the same issue because high ping now for PC seems to be somewhere at 80 being the highest in that range, unless you're selecting a server that is just way out of your zone, in which case you're giving yourself a high ping, which that's just something that can happen in any game. But um, even when I've played in servers that were relatively close to where I'm supposed to be, um, my highest that I ever see typically is around 50 or 60. Like very rarely do I hit that that general sweet spot of uh, 30 to 15, which is I've never seen 15, but 30 is very rarely. This has all to do with server health, the amount of servers, and the bandwidth that they're being crunched with. And this is a problem that needs to be fixed, I mean, really immediately. The, this isn't one of the main things that they are trying to fix actively um, and are planning to find a way to roll out a, an upgrade to this in the next six months, I would think would be really, really important. Um, 
And you know, this game is still fairly new on consoles, but if this kind of thing continues, I would find it very difficult to want to continue playing this this way because the game just doesn't work in these situations where you're throwing grenades or you're watching people drive by you, but you, you'll never have an opportunity to shoot those people. When you throw a grenade, you're watching it be in two to three different places at the same time. It just isn't conducive to good, smooth gameplay. With the recent acquisition of the entire Hell Let Loose game and franchise and titling and rights um, from Team 17 or by Team 17 from Black Matter, this is something that you would hope could be fixed fairly quickly. Um, Team 17, obviously a much bigger, much more well-financed situation. Uh, it's a full-on game publisher, so they certainly have more assets to, to use, and I, we just hope that they do, because if they don't, um, this is going to be a lingering issue for this game on consoles going forward, and, and I, we don't, I really don't want to see that, obviously, um, but not just because it makes the game more difficult to play, but because we don't want to see more hardcore, more realistic, more tactical-based FPS, uh, FPSs uh, get forgotten or, or be not completely taken care of the way they should be on consoles, because this is a relatively new thing to bring to consoles in general in any way. So getting them right is very important, and this is an example of something that somehow has just been around and I, like i said i know it's been an issue for pc as well so this is an ongoing issue for this game in general they did fix it fairly well on pc it's still like i said still some small problems within a pc but no rubber banding none of this none of that kind of thing that we're seeing all over the place on the consoles and you got to get this fixed like right now listen guys i want you to maybe drop me a comment in the section below let me know what you think about this i know some of you guys if not all or a lot of you have seen this on multiple occasions um i want to know what you think about it and i want to know what you think where you would put the importance of server upgrading uh it, for this game to fix this and alleviate this problem in the you know top five things that you want to see out of this game does it fall into that category i'm interested to know i hope you'll leave me a comment and we'll uh, we'll chat about it later i do appreciate you stopping by today hope you have a great rest of your week and we'll see you on the battlefield